P is for Pearl, Public Interactives Research Lab. We look at technological experiences in public settings, interaction in the wild, if you will. We also make technological experiences to be encountered in public. Um, a lot of those things involve many people touching the same device. P is for pandemic. Pearl has mostly been research in public, urban public spaces. Being locked in our suburban safety pods gave us a chance to consider public interactives in suburbia. One genre popped out, a ubiquitous voice activated interactive experience in suburbia. Drive through restaurants. <clears throat> now ideas about drive through commerce are as old as driving. Um, this is an early drive through grocery store where there were turntables for the shelves and you drove through and you just pulled things off the shelves. Um, but in suburbia, drive through is is everywhere and everything uh, and became much more so in in COVID times. But for the most part, drive through then meant going home and back to your, to the the bigger safety pod of your house. There were certainly innovations in dining out, uh, though at some cost. Uh, on the other hand, sometimes it came very naturally to certain places. Uh, but the hospitality industry has made many adaptations, um, but I started to wonder how one might find a fine dining experience without going home and without leaving one's safety pod. Now there's history for this of, of drive-in restaurants, but not really a fine aesthetic experience. Um, there's also other antecedents um, which found new life uh, during COVID. Um, this is in Richardson. Uh, and even Walmart has figured it out. Um, and thinking about all of these things and, and sort of observing what's going on um, led Pearl to P is for parking. Parking is an unintended consequence of the transportation revolution of the 20th, 20th century. Um, there are an estimated four to five storage spaces for every vehicle on the planet. This clearly impacts climate, land use policy, commercial property development, residential architecture. Um, but parking lots are also cultural fo focal points, not only gathering community members for shopping, work and worship, but as formal and informal event spaces. P is for platform. How might we expand opportunities for cultural experiences into places fundamentally designed in support of commerce? That sounds a lot like public interactives. How about if we put a museum in a parking lot? Perhaps it could be a museum about parking and parking lots. What if it was actually a network of tiny museums? With content across a number of disciplines through the lens of parking and parking lots. Providing in-car, stationary of course, AR experiences of hyper-local content to anchor them in the local community, but also making visiting several or all of them interesting as well. By deploying technology that facilitates the delivery of content to a very specific place and provides data for those experiences. But what would the governance of such a, a institution be in the financial model? Is it a candidate for successful decentralized autonomous organizations or DAOs? Should it live in a crypt cryptocurrency to smooth out some of the cross-border friction endemic to an international organization? Pearl is setting out to give it a try. We're designing AR exhibits, 
experimenting with what interaction in a parking space is like. Participating in parking day next Friday with some very preliminary experiences available in the first parking space here between AT ATC building and the McDermott library. After that, we're working with UT design electrical engineering team to prototype our first parking meter. And make many more exhibits and an app to hold them all. And grow to be as big a museum as we can get. Finally, P is for performance. Eckstein sent me this last night. First of quote, the first of some performances I plan to stage as interventions in IPLM. 